Um, yeah, nah. Let's let's go do this video on the beach. I'm tired of sitting here. Hey, babe, we about to go to the beach. Let's go. What's up, people? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music licensing, music business, and music production. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my latest content. Um, so yeah, definitely just went to the beach out here, just chilling with the fam, taking a little bit of break away from the weekly grind. But I figured I'd at least shoot a video since I'm out here just kind of chilling and still kind of find a way to be productive. So today I want to talk about starting being better than perfection. Like you don't have to be perfect to start. I think a lot of people overanalyze. They get into this analysis paralysis where like they just soak in a bunch of content, soak in a bunch of information and they want everything to be lined up perfectly before they even make the first step of just putting themselves out there, putting, the, putting their music out there, and music licensing specifically, just pitching, like doing the first step, putting a playlist together and start pitching. If you don't take the step to just put yourself out there before reaching perfection, you're actually shooting yourself in the foot because a lot of growth happens when you just jump out there and you figure it out as you go. Like that's when all of the learning takes place. That's when you know exactly what you need to do, which adjustments you need to make. That's how you know you're growing and that's like how you grow as well. It's just putting yourself out there, getting in the middle of it and learning the business through experience. Uh, there's been plenty of situations where I've just put myself out there. Like I didn't have everything figured out when I got into music licensing, but one specific situation I can remember is when I did start, you know, my road to 10 placements, trying to get those first 10 TV placements in a little over a year. I just started submitting my music and reaching out to different publishers and things like that. It wasn't until I started doing that, that I started figuring out my music wasn't really structured the way it needed to be. But look, like if I wouldn't have, took the time to just put myself out there and start reaching out to publishers, I never would have come across the publisher that actually gave me some tips and actually gave me some pointers on how to structure my music and like certain things that he looks for when he's trying to place music and things that editors look for um, when they're placing instrumental cues specifically. So if I never would have took the initial step to actually start pitching my music, knowing it's, I don't know if it's perfect, I don't know if it's ready, I don't know if it's formatted properly, but I had to take the first step and put it out there. So check this, if I wouldn't have started and just put myself out there, I wouldn't have met the publisher. If I wouldn't have met that publisher through reaching out, I wouldn't have learned certain elements that are required to give my instrumental cues the highest success rate, right? If I wouldn't have learned how to get my instrumentals the highest success rate through proper structure and formatting and things like that I wouldn't be able to share with you guys and teach you guys how to do it through my video course that walks you step by step on exactly how to structure instrumental cues so that the editors and the supervisors have the flexibility to use your music and increase your chances of it getting placed so it's super powerful like just taking that first step into um, figuring it out and, and, and getting in the grind, learning through experience, and it has such a huge impact because if I would have made the decision not to take the first step, if I would have made the decision to wait until I had everything figured out and perfect, I would have affected a lot of you guys who have gotten the course and learned how to structure your music and saved four and five years of trying to figure this stuff out because a lot of people don't tell you, that would have affected you guys who may have gotten the course or the guys who I've you know done one-on-one -on -one consultations with like I wouldn't be able to share that information with them and then they're impacted now they're not able to see success in getting placements and generating royalties and creating residual income like way beyond their lives you know what I mean so 
then that starts affecting the next generation, their kids that, that are gonna inherit those royalties and things like that. It just has like a domino effect. That's why I always tell people like, yo, like take massive action, take immediate action, because it's not just you. Like your decision to take action or to not take action affects more people than just you. And when you look at everything, you know, in a bigger picture like that, you're more motivated, at least I am, I'm more motivated to just step out there, take action, even if I don't have everything figured out, like just start and then I'll figure out the rest as I go. Cause it just, it, it affects too many people outside of myself. So if I don't show up, if I don't take a risk, there's so many other lives that's gonna be affected by that. And I can't go on like knowing that, like because of my own laziness, because of my own fear of not having everything perfect and lined up before I make a move. That, I mean, that's just selfish of me to not move and, and affect everybody else's life and everybody else's kids' life and so on and so forth because I, did, I didn't want to do it. So I encourage you to take action. I encourage you, even if you don't have everything figured out, if you're trying to figure out how to get TV placements, you're trying to figure out how to get major artist placements, like whatever it is, you're trying to figure it out, start, do the first step, and then go to the next step, and the step after that, and just figure out you know, what you need to do along the way. And that's where you're gonna learn the most, and I, I promise you won't regret it. Like, just, just do it. So many people waste so much time just like not doing something. Cause it's like, oh, yo, I gotta, I gotta finish figuring out exactly how I'm gonna move, exactly what it's gonna look like from beginning to end. Like, no, like just do it. Like you don't, you might, you may not even see tomorrow. Like, why would you wait? You know, tomorrow's not promised. Take action today. Today, right now, is when you actually have time to do something and make a difference. So take that first step. If you're still stuck on trying to figure out exactly how to get TV placements or how to structure your music, there's a link in the description. Go ahead and click that. I have tons of resources available so that you can get unstuck. Like I've went through the mistakes, I've went through the years of learning this stuff, so you don't have to. I took action so that you're not negatively affected. So go ahead, click the link in the description to my store, and I'll also include 20% off discount code so you can use it um, to get whatever resource you need to be able to take your music or your production business to the next level. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm going to finish enjoying this little mini vacay because it's beautiful out here.